is my birthday, and I'm very excited because it is also National Cat Day. And if there is nothing more fitting than my birthday falling on National Cat Day, I don't know what it is because, like, I am a cat. So this is the most exciting thing for me ever. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my October wrap-up. I read a total of two books this month, so without further ado, let us get started. Let's just have a little life chat with Jay, a life update, because I only read two books this month, so this is going to be a super short video. So might as well just have a little life chat, and uh, we can uh, we can connect like old friends. Hey, how you doing? Huh. It was midterms this month, so I didn't really read that much, which is why I've only read two books this month. <laughs> for shame, Jan, for shame. But honestly, I think that October has been the best month of my life so far. I am so incredibly happy. I don't think I've been this happy in a very long time. So I am just, life is going very well for me right now. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I met a new boy. How you doing, honey? You're the best. Oh, I got an email from Macmillan Publishers asking me to read Heartless, which was like, amazing to me because like I'm just a little tiny little booktuber and I'm getting an arc of Heartless and I don't think anybody understands how exciting and monumental this is for me because I usually just get books from like little tiny publishers but like this is Macmillan and this is like Marissa Meyer like this is a big deal to me I can't I just cannot I'm now 21 as of today <laughs> so I can now come to the states and uh, gamble and drink my face off which I don't do but you know we can pretend for the sake of being 21 someone take me to Vegas please so I guess now we should probably get to the books now that you know a little bit about my life uh, yeah, so without further ado, let us get to the wrap-up. first book that I read this month is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. And this book is the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And it broke my heart and put it back together and broke it again about 70 million times. There's not much I can say about it because it is the last book in a trilogy, so like, major spoilers if I talk about anything. But basically this book destroyed me and I am still not over it. Very near and dear to my heart, but also, I hate this book at the same time. If you didn't catch on, I obviously gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars because... I just love it and hate it, and I just... I'm gonna put it down now. The next and final book that I read in the month of October is Tales of a Haunted House by Frank Carcota, and this book is basically about how every house has a soul. In the early 1900s, a man named Joseph built this house in order for it to be a token for his love for a woman named Abigail, and things don't go as planned, and he becomes very bitter and angry, and he basically becomes a burden to the people of his town. As more and more time goes on, different people start to inhabit this house. It's basically their stories and what the house means to each individual. It was okay. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. I did like the moral of the story, but I found it very boring and I just wasn't that interested in it. I kind of just read it only because it's so short and I was like, I don't want to say I've only read one book this month because failure. Didn't keep you on the edge of your seat or anything like that. It was just like, okay, I've read a book. Alright guys, so those were the two books that I read in the month of October. I don't really have that much to do in November other than like little assignments and things like that. So hopefully I will actually read at least <laughs> three books. We'll see how that goes. Probably not. But we'll see if your girl can manage to read one book. I'll just pick little tinier books instead of, you know, the beast that is Clockwork Princess. So it's probably my fault because I can only read one book at one time. But, you know, we'll pretend that it was midterm's fault. Whatever. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!